Right, now what I'm going to do is jump 50 metres into the air to match the incredible leaping power of the flea. And hang on, 50 metres? That's quite high, isn't it? Do you reckon that'll be fine to do, Bob? Uh, absolutely not, Mark. According to my calculations, the details, chances... Details, Bob, details. All I need to do is get a good bounce going. <laughs> Robot, introduce me, you lead brain fool. Ah, yes. Whilst Mark's doing that, why doesn't Professor McTaggart tell us more about these microscopic monsters with his brain done? Whee! I'm Professor McTaggart, and this is my brain dump about the minuscule creatures that exist all around us, even though we can't always see them. In fact, they outnumber us massively. Take this little chap, the nematode roundworm. They're usually tiny, less than a millimetre long, but they're actually the most common type of animal on Earth. Unbelievably, four out of every five animals are nematodes, and they are everywhere. In fact, if you were to magically take away all the people, animals, trees, and plants, in short, every living thing on the planet, you would still be able to see their ghostly outlines made up of nematode worms. That's because there are nematodes in all living things, even you. Not in disembodied brains, though. That would be disgusting. It's so horrible. Doing well, Mark. Four meters. Five meters. Okay. Go for the big one. Ah, uh, my eyes. By going for the big one, did you mean going through the ceiling? Okay, Bob. Cut to the sketch. I'll grab a ladder. Yes. Let's take a closer look at the micro-monsters that live in the home. They like some rooms more than others. 